What is going on guys? In today's video, I wanna talk about what I struggle with most in my life. The thing that causes the most difficulty, the most anxiety for me in my life. And what that thing is, it's this idea of mountaintop love. And I wanna share that with you guys right now. Let's get into it. Oh, so what is mountaintop love? Something I consistently see with clients, I see it in my own life. It's this idea that I'm going to love myself or like myself more once I reach the goal. The program I often find myself in is not being fully happy and present in my life until that next thing happens. Like right now, for an example, if I'm in my life, it's like, I'm gonna let myself be fully happy, I'm gonna fully love myself when my business is doing 100,000 a month, as an example, right? So the entire time I'm in this place of feeling like 70 or 80% of my life until I get to the mountaintop. And then I get to the mountaintop in that moment, you've probably been there, it's fleeting right? You're happy for a day, two days, three days, and then it's back to the bottom of a mountain for the next one. And so I call this mountaintop love because this is what so many successful men do. So many men who are high performing, so many men who are personal growth minded is they're in this constant cycle of feeling like 70 or 80% until these brief moments where they let themselves feel incredible. One of the analogies that I think of, one of the stories I think of is I view myself like in a desert and I'm walking up this big sand dune in this desert. And when I get to the top of the sand dune, I finally give myself a cap full of water. And then I go back down the sand dune and the whole time I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. Finally get to the top and I give myself a cap full of water. And I think the power for us as men is recognizing that we're the ones holding the water bottle. We can give ourselves all the water we want to at any time. How do we actually step into that frequency of giving ourselves love on the journey, not just at the mountaintop destinations. And why is this so key? You know, for me, I had a recognition last year and I've told this story so many times on my channel, but I had a recognition last year when I sold my business and I was living in Brazil. I had this one morning, I'm out in this balcony with my girlfriend at the time. The apartment overlooks this really beautiful jungle. And I had sold my business and I was making five figures a month, anywhere from 12 to $25,000 a month passively. It was like, I never really thought I was gonna get there in my life, but I was there and um, my girlfriend showering naked. I'm looking out at Rio de Janeiro, this beautiful view and everything in my life was what I wanted it to be. But I could feel in my body that I wasn't completely content. I was still waiting to be at the mountaintop to give myself the cap full of water, but I was at the top of the mountain and I had been for two or three months at this point. And so I realized that the issue of the programming of mountaintop love is that it will never let us fully embrace and love the moments we have in our life. How I started this video out, I said, you know, this is the number one thing I struggle with. And so how do I start to get out of that way of thinking? For me, the biggest thing that that I find when I get caught in that, it's because I'm caught in my head. And when I'm caught in my head, I'm always planning. What should I do next? I can do this better. But as I start to transition into my body more, and I don't know if all of you have felt this, but I think some of you watching this video have felt this, but the transition from your head to your body, when you're operating from what you would call greater presence, you can really just fully enjoy your life. The more I can remove myself from here and the more I can get in my body, slowing down my breath, not thinking, being present, the more I can enjoy every step of that journey. It's not just getting the cup of water or the cap full of water at the top of the sand dune. It's enjoying the water all the way up and all the way down and knowing that that is part of the cycle of life, but having and bringing enjoyment and peace and happiness to every area. That's what I struggle with the most in my life is reminding myself of that. I still have that programming of I'll be happier when, I'll love myself more when, I'll like my life more when, but it's a lie. I'm not gonna be happier when. It's a momentary boom passing. And so stepping into full power as a man is how can I be happy during every moment of this beautiful thing we call life? Because it is fleeting. This life goes quick and you don't wanna wait until you get to the mountaintop to feel good. Because what you realize when you get to the mountaintop is that you feel just about the same as you did on the way up the journey. You know, that's what I felt in Brazil. It was like I finally made it to this place that I've been working so hard to make it to, to only feel exactly like I felt on the way to getting there. That's the lie of the world. That's the lie of life, I believe, is recognizing that we have to feel great today. We have to feel great on the journey, not just when we get to the destination. So that's what I struggle with the most, guys. I think the way to get out of that, personally for me, is meditation and sitting in a deep presence and gratitude like 
wow, look at this life I have right now. I know it's not where I want it to be, but it's amazing. And five years ago, if you would have told me my life was like this, I would have said I would be 10 out of 10 happy. And you can ask that question yourself, right? Three years ago, five years ago, if someone told you your life was gonna look like how it looks today, you probably would say, oh yeah, I would totally be happy. But it's a recognition that that happiness is a constant state we have to get into by recognizing our power, our beauty, our strength, and getting into more presence with ourselves. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoy this. For those of you who are in this journey, who are in that mountaintop love, try and sit into more presence. Try and go from your head to your body. Other ways that work for me, meditation is one of them. Running first thing in the morning. Dancing helps me. The gym helps me. All of these activities that help turn off the mind and get you into the body will allow you to feel more of that love on the journey and not just on the top of the mountaintop. That is it, boys. Much love to all of you. Get it. Ciao.